Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For a free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. kind of chair is good because <laughs> yeah. chair is good. It's hard, I like, yeah? Uh, you okay there? Your chair are good? Yes. Where's your chair? No chair. <laughs> Outside? <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, it's good. Because I go out later, huh, with you, meditate. Just here you can see me more clear. In case you want any question or something, it's translation, yeah? Okay, any question, quickly, because we have to go, meditate. <laughs> Just sit there and later when I go out, catch me on the street, Master, I want a question. <laughs> Welcome, mate. <laughs> Australia? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you too? No, you're not. U.S. Oregon. U US Oregon. Uh -huh. And you? No, I'm French. You're French? Okay. Toulouse. 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 <laughs> no. No? No. No, Toulouse. 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 Oh, see. <laughs> and you? Colorado, USA. USA. Australia. Australia. Madrid. Madrid. Montreal. Montreal. Australia. 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 Malaysia. Malaysia. <laughs> USA. USA. Yeah. Wow, talking about United Nations. Mm. <laughs> I remember a long time ago, you know, when, when I went to Canada for a lecture. Uh, there's a, at that time, you, you guys are not very well organized, so there's a big entourage come with me with video equipment and all this uh, translation device. And the police check me many hours, what is all this, why? <laughs> and then they saw, I said, oh my God, look like United Nations. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are, we are, hey? Yes. We really are United Nations, huh? And very united, yes, <laughs> and many nations. <laughs> but I told you already, you should learn English, yeah? Yes, not because I'm British subject, but because English is more easy to learn and many people speak around the world, yeah? Yeah, just, just automatic international. Mm. Oh, by the way, we congratulate the royal future Prince and King of England. He just born. Yeah, yesterday. No, no name yet, but congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> the most important thing is the mother and the baby all very well. Yes. So we congratulate the royal family. Yeah. Like this, the tradition passed on. Huh? Yes. Okay, how about Malaysia? I still have through many kings, different kings every five years, right? Yeah. Malaysia? Yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In Malaysia, different, yes. Uh, maybe my family take turn to be king, right? I remember, right? You know nothing? <laughs> <laughs> my God, what kind of Malaysian are you? <laughs> The stage they had the sultan, they take turns. They take turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I know better than her. <laughs> I should be the Malaysian <laughs> citizen. Okay, any question? You want to Go hoi hong. Okay. So, one of our initiates has been working with Seoul City Hall and making vegan policy, and we made some good progresses. So, Earlier this year, the Seoul City Hall has passed a vegan policy through exclusive public hearing in conjunction with Department of Food Safety. Also, City Hall announced that starting this City Hall cafeteria, they will have veggie day every one w once a week. So, Vegetarian once yeah, a week. Yeah. Mm. And uh, from now on, 25 districts affiliated uh, enterprises elementary, middle, high school, private company, etc. will join the Vegan Day to spread Vegan Day management. Oh, wow. And uh, Seoul City Hall also started public approval system to encourage vegan restaurants to register voluntarily. City Hall thinks that these public approval system will facilitate the increase in vegan restaurants, so they made vegan restaurants put Seoul City logo uh, on the entrance and and started a show work about safe veganism on their homepage and also another good news is that uh, Seoul City Hall established the animal department 
and also an abandoned dog shelter has Pier in Seoul Children's Theme Park. Whoa, wonderful. Thank you, Seoul. <laughs> All from Seoul, yeah? Uh, other, how about other city? Oh, I don't know yet, okay. But this is from the government? Yes. Wow, my God. Bravo, Korea. <laughs> Thank you, your government. If you have a chance to speak to any of your government, tell them I thank them from my heart and wish Korea well, both sides. Congratulations, Seoul and Korea. Yeah? <laughs> your country is much better now, huh? It's peaceful, peaceful, yeah? Yeah. Good government, yeah? Anyone else? Yeah, Jongwon, Jan Ali. 哎，现在中国政府就是关于那个有机种植，特别是高原湖泊上面的，呃，上游的乡镇就全部进行有机化种植了，已经开始。哎，然后再是，呃，藏区，特别是藏区的那个民众开始素食。啊，哎，他们那
invest one time and then it will use for a long time. It's better because otherwise when you're in a hurry, even if you have a lot of uh, employees, when you're hurry, it's very difficult to chop, chop, chop. Huh? <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, so I use the machine to do that. So the labor cost is very low. Yeah. The food is very simple and very <laughs> consistent to all the, the time I have opened. Oh, wonderful. And also, is I see what else I can do. I, I see, can we do the best, better customer service? Mm-hmm. Um, so I try to remember the customer name. I try to remember what they like. Yeah. Uh, I try to remember they the, like the that. family members. And, and so now when they call me, order the food, I know ahead of time already what they like. Uh-huh. And sometimes they forget to say, why don't, why don't you have this and that? Uh, you used to have that option, for example. Mm. Um, and and uh, your husband, your wife, uh, mm. was on, uh, get very well. Mm. Can we do something for you, for example? Mm, they like that. Yeah. And when they order some food, I tell them, oh, you forgot to order the drink. You uh-huh. forget to order some dessert. Can, uh-huh. What can we do for you? Oh, okay. Okay. And sometimes we don't have the food they, they like. I say, can you leave me a telephone number? I call you back when we have it for you. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they leave me the telephone number and mm. they call them back. Yeah. They call them buy the food. Excellent. Yeah. So very good customer service. And also is um, the food that we sell. Uh, sometimes we couldn't sell the next day because of quality control. The food go to the homeless center yeah. to benefit the people don't have enough yeah, to yeah, pay yeah, for the yes, food. Yes. 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 That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And also is um. They say, I have no time to cook, so can I cook for you? So oh. I offer them the weekly meal. I offer them from they cook for one week. Yeah. They, they, they come and pick up the food for one week. Uh-huh. And uh, right now I notice there are only five customers, mm. enough for me to pay for the rent. Wow, even five customers for one week each. Oh, yes. yeah, of course. And, and three more customers, enough for me to pay utilities like the water, electricity. Oh, eight customers, that's all you need? Yes. Oh, come on, guys. You should learn from him, okay? Email him, ask him detail. <laughs> yeah, you, they can, they, anyone can, can call me and, and contact Bravo. me and w- I share the information. I like that. They have yeah. to be smart also, not just uh, compassion, but clever. Huh? Yeah. No, I, I, pray, I pray you uh, for, for your blessing. Because, I uh, have to do it, huh? <laughs> we pray your, Always the same we pray stuff. Your, uh, you know, like uh, Buddha chanting music all in the kitchen all the time. And sometimes very, very things simple, like lemonade, they come and buy it because they have a stomach ache. Yeah. And it's actually no more important. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And um, they come and ask for the raw food, they, the, the food don't have to cook. Mm-hmm. And I tell them, uh, we don't ask for the raw food, but you can try. Mm-hmm. We make some food for them. So now we make wonderful, like uh, mango, avocado salad for them. Mm-hmm. We make very excellent cheesecake. Yeah, look, look in the internet to see what is simple and easy and nutritious uh, raw food. You can have it. Anything the customer wants, you try to accom- accomplish, yeah? Comply with them, they'll be happy. And also about this the price, um, I, I do some tests. If we sell the food too cheap, they think in their head the food not good. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I raise the price a little bit. Uh-huh. And sometimes I raise the price a bit more, but I give them organic items. Uh-huh. Like organic hemp seed, organic this, organic that, uh-huh. and we sell more, and they still buy it. Okay. Yeah. Some people like organic food. Yeah. It's very good. Excellent. Excellent. And sometimes they like it and they say, uh, can I do this for my, my father's birthday? Uh-huh. So they come order an entire cake. I say, oh. if you order an entire cake, I give you 20% discount. Oh. Give you some discount. Yeah. And I noticed also that the many students come to my restaurant, so I give them 10% discount as well. So oh. I offer a discount for students. Yeah. Excellent. So they come and buy it. So I want to share that uh, we don't have to sell the food very cheap, but we have to uh, make a very low cost using the equipment, yeah, using yeah. machines. Yeah, and we pay ahead of time so they can come and just get the food. Yeah, also no need these uh, cover and tea, uh, say uh, napkin and all that. It makes too much trouble. Just uh, uh, wood and you know, classy table and wipe it quick. No, we don't, we don't use the cover. We just had a very clean uh, white tables, but mm-hmm. we use compostable uh, bioreactive materials mm. like the like the boxes. They can uh, they can take to go. So uh-huh. we don't have white dishes. Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's the advantage. We don't have to wash dishes, and we yeah. can give them the box. And yeah. They like it because we say we support the environment. Yes. They like that too. Oh, okay. So they go on the table and eat like picnic in the box? Uh, depends. If they, if they want some soup, for example, the royal soup, we get a nice bowl. Uh-huh. But the rice, we them in, in the nice uh-huh. out like uh, containers. Yeah. yeah, yes. I saw that. In some restaurant, for example, they, they serve with bread, you know, like for example, spaghetti. It's not a really ve- vegetarian restaurant, nothing. They make spaghetti and of course the bread go with it. They don't put it on a plate, they just stuck it in, chop it, they cut it and then put it in a paper bag. 
So left over you can just take home for the birds outside or they don't have to wash one dish is extra. Yeah? They put it in the back, <laughs> put it on the table and you eat with spaghetti, the bread in the back. You take out, eat it. It's still warm. Yeah. If you put it in the back, it's still warm. <laughs> put it on the table. Yeah, that's also an idea, huh? Mm. Very simple setting, you know, the table is very classy, very nice, you know, those very good quality and good table. And they just put it direct on the table. And uh, all the serviette is already inside, also the bag with the wrapping tissue and everything. So it's very easy to, to manage and look lovely, yeah. Okay, good idea. Yeah. Also, so. because I, uh, I cook the food for one week, so uh, uh, when they cook the food for them, I tell them, give me your feedback. So mm -hmm. when they give them the food, they give me the feedback. Mm. So the good feedback, the good food, I put on the menu. Oh. So they come my test base. Okay, very good. <laughs> so that I want to share, we don't have to sell things very cheap, but we have to make very fast service, yeah. very good customer service, yeah. and clean environment, and I think we can do it, and anyone yeah. can do it. Can do. Just eight customers, that's all you need. Hmm? <laughs> Learn from him. Yeah. I'm going to open one also like you. Mm. <laughs> my my uh, attorney now is registered the name already, so it can be franchise. People come and ask for franchise, many of them already. Oh, wonderful. Bravo. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very happy to hear this kind of news, yeah, that you are innovative and successful. Yeah, I like that very much. I don't really very much like the idea of uh, losing business. <laughs> you still need to keep your living standard. Nah? You must earn a little money at least to cover yourself, so that for your children. Huh? If you lose money, then later you have to go begging for food. That's no good. You got to keep your dignity as well. Because you don't charge a lot, but your labor, nah? you have to pay. If you don't work, then you have to hire somebody, then you have to pay for him or her. So instead, you work, you, you also have to calculate that you pay for yourself huh? and pay for all the electricity, water, etc., huh? and the maintenance of the restaurant and the tax you have to pay. Yeah? Because if you sell too cheap, you have no money to pay tax. That's no good. Yeah? The government, number one, the government will think you're cheating and then keep uh, always uh, looking at you, number one. Number two, we have to pay tax because uh, the government use a tax to pay the road, you make the school, to uh, repair the bridge and make the light on the street working. Hmm? Yes. So uh, any idea of tax evasion is not good because we are using it. The tax will go into what you're using. Yeah? Yeah, if the government is good, of course. <laughs> but you have to do your duty, yes? And if they use the money, they don't, don't use it for the public. That is their problem. It's their bad karma. But we have to uh, make it work so that we can keep our uh, living standard and also keep our dignity for the children as well, yeah? Understand? Children have to go to school, yeah? And you know, mama, papa need to be taken care of when they're older and when they're ill and sick. So you must have enough money to cover all that, okay? But if you want to do a charity shop, <laughs> then it's okay with me too, if you can afford it. But don't make yourself short, okay, of money or of necessity. You understand why? Okay? Your shop has to keep going, at least keep going so that other, many other people benefit, not just a group of people who come and eat and then make your bankrupt, understand? Have to benefit the whole nation and the world, yeah? Therefore, we must earn enough money to cover a little bit more, to live on, to continue with health and dignity, continue to open the restaurant or open the next restaurant, understand? Yeah. Not because we greedy want money or anything, but in this world, it's like that. It has to be balanced. Capish? Yes. Yeah. I don't want you to go bankrupt because of feeding people. That uh, job is for the homeless shelter. Huh? Okay? Yeah. If you have enough food, you have enough money, then you can also give them some. But don't make yourself bankrupt. Huh? Okay? Yes. And then people think, oh my God, look, 
open a vegetarian restaurant and has no money now declare bankrupt. That's no good, is it? You have to be prosperous and yeah, make business, happy go lucky, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you see the logic? Yeah. It's not about money. It's the principle of everything has to be correct. Yeah, you have love, but you must also have wisdom. Hmm? Okay, go. 我是看医院的员工和患者都吃素食。哦，哎，直到到我们医院来看病的和我们的员工只要加入我们医院呃工作，就要吃素食，这是我的要求，也是一个原则。是啊，嗯，是这样。你那边当老板呢？对，只要
Do you still have some more questions? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't feel funny. See? Sister, I have a song for you. A song? Oh, man. Opera? No. no. Okay. It came from the soul. Okay. Let's hear it. <laughs> No, because uh, people like you are good for opera. <laughs> yeah, you know that, right? Opera people must have a little yeah. bit more mus muscle everywhere, no? Yeah. But when I tried to learn, my, my teacher, she told me, I'm too flat. I <laughs> <laughs> told you, I told I can do it. <laughs> Is a song. Life is a song. Master, that's your color. And my color? Oh, somebody bought it for me. I wonder who did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it also because it's very light, you know, summer. Because uh, if they didn't buy me anything, you probably see me without any color. Eh? <laughs> Go on. You blue, beautiful anyway, master. Always. Thank you, thank you. Always. Just for now, I'm still, still as you know, thirty. <laughs> I would say after thirties, yeah. <laughs> Singing. Between two breaths, I know it's you. Between two heartbeats, it's always you. Thank you for the morning sun. Thank you for the moon. Thank you for the trees, birds, and the sky. Thank you for being here, holding my hand. In this life, you are my only friend. My mother, brother, sister, father, I bow to you. My beloved master is always only you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Beautiful song. Beautiful song. Very solely, huh? It came from the soul. I it came you, from the soul, Master. Yeah, I think you make a better singer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, if I'm crying, guys. Try my best, I but know, could I not. Know. I know. If my teacher has seen you, she probably kicked me out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> you are probably the one, pro you know, more, more suitable for, for her class. <laughs> Master, I'm coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Oh, really? And, um, yeah, and I cor currently now live in the United States, but I was living 30 years in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Oh. And because of war, I escaped, and it was you, Master, all the way, carrying me around through the snow. Oh, really? And I know it was you. Thank oh, you. Okay. <laughs> Thank welcome. you, Master. You're welcome, my love. You're welcome. Thank you for all your love that you shower all the blessings and everything you bestow upon me. Thank you. And all the best for your country. Thank you, Master. Much better now. Yes, yeah, everything yes. much more better. Peace. Yes, much more better. peace and yeah. more harmony with, yeah, with neighbors harmony. and everything. Thanks to you, Master. Thanks to you, Master. Thanks, heaven, yeah? Thank Thanks, heaven. heaven. <laughs> Thanks for the song, but mostly people do some service. We have to we'll give something. <laughs> you can drink after, yeah. <laughs> I know you all like it, but I have only one, okay? <laughs> mm, very nice song. I can share it with the sips if we have a little oh, bit. <laughs> How many? Just drink it. Yeah. There are too many. Like, even just to look, not enough. <laughs> when they look from up there, they see nothing. It's just <laughs> so small. Enjoy it. Nah? Enjoy the love that stick inside. Yeah. Thank you. OK, anyone else want to sing song? <laughs> no, because if I ask, they all want to sing. Yeah. There are a lot of talents around here. Yeah. Okay, you happy? Everything good? Yes. 
Soup okay? Yes. <laughs> too hot, huh? Yeah. It's, it's not too hot outside, so we just have a look at each other and then we go meditate, okay? Unless you, you want to ask me something before you die or something. <laughs> yeah? Okay. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you that you are happy. Okay. All right. Uh, any of you uh, leaving soon? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Sorry that you have to leave. And we, and any of you want to come back? Can do. It's just too far and costly for you. Otherwise, if I'm here, you can always come back. If you want to come back, you call and ask before. You know, if Master is still here, then you can come. Okay? How about that? Any of you would like to come back after this? I mean, not immediately, next day. <laughs> But maybe after the retreat and all that, would you still like to come back? Yes. yes. It's too far, no? Always, Master. Always. It's too far and very expensive. <laughs> the money comes. I know, but <laughs> money comes from sky. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where does it come from? <laughs> yeah. Master, may I share how money came from the sky? Sure, sure. <laughs> Everybody wants to listen. <laughs> Microphone. It's funny story, really. Uh, in February, when we have retreat here for Chinese uh, uh, lunar year, um, we, we just get announcement in the center, um, like whoever wants to go, we have to apply. And, uh, and I felt really I should go. Uh, but next, next, Second, I was like, oh, no way, I don't have money for, for a trip, you know? Oh. And, but desire still staying in. Mm. And I came back home. Uh, um, I asked my little daughter, where is the uh, puppy? And she said, oh, he, he, he's doing taxes, income taxes for uh, end of the year. And we never have a return back, never. Mm maybe $50 or some. I came to ask my husband, how are you doing? How, how is it going? And he said, oh, we have $3,000 return. And uh, by the way, baby, whatever you want, you know, you just... <laughs> <laughs> That's how the money came out. <laughs> Surprise, huh? Yeah, and I was laughing. And he asked, he said, you want something? I said, retreat. <laughs> <laughs> And he said, okay, said, Master, you change, you change everything in my life. Everything is so beautiful, full of love. My husband changed, my parent, my, my mom changed. Everything around me is just beautiful, thanks to your love, Master. You're beautiful, that's why. Master, you're beautiful. <laughs> Your beautiful and you gave heart. it to me. Yeah. You gave it to me, yes. and I tried to pass it. <laughs> pass it everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's you. It's your love, Master. Thank you. It's, it's your faith and your, I say, your perseverance also, and your sincerity that makes it attract Thank the you. Master, this kind of quality power, understand? Yeah, Thank if you. we're positive, we attract positive power. Thank if we're uh, virtuous, um, Morally uh, correct, we attract these kind of people and attract blessing, okay? Thank but sometimes we do a lot of good things nowadays because we know it's a good thing to do, but we still uh, have difficulty. It's because our pre present karma doesn't allow us to have this because we have chosen to, to have this kind of situation. For some reason, yes, maybe to clean ourselves or to elevate our, our spiritual standard or to help other people to share the karma, understand? It's just like, for example, Jesus, uh, Prophet Mohammed, uh, Buddha, they did nothing wrong ever, but they always had trouble, understand that? Yes. Yes. So it's not always a black and white, okay? <laughs> but averagely speaking, if you are a spiritual practitioner with the Kuan Yin method and you really stick to your moral standard and you diligently practice, then everything will go well. But sometimes also you have to share the karma with the country where you live, yes, and the people you, you are with, all kind of things that influence our spiritual practice. 
But if your your faith is strong, always you win at the end. At the end, there's always something for you to laugh, to smile at. Okay? Yes. Very good. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you, your husband. <laughs> Can I have this some cakes, please? I want to give your husband something. <laughs> Good husband he is. <laughs> Rare to find, no? Yeah. It's not much. It's just, uh, it's just I want, I want to recognize that uh, sesame, sesame cakes. I just want to tell him that I recognize his goodness. <laughs> Such a good boy he was. Tell him. God bless you. <laughs> Good husband, hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> Buddha, easy. <laughs> good husband, hard to find. Good wife, hard to find. Yeah? Yes. 28 years. 28 years marriage. Wow. What a good man. Yes. But, beautiful man. But you are a beautiful woman, that's why. Thank you, Master. Yes, yes. He's beautiful, beautiful man. And you talk to me with love, everything possible. Yeah? Everything you win, everything with love. Yeah, love him more. Me. Love him more. <laughs> everything we change with love. That's for yeah, sure. That's for change. sure. Ah, yeah, yeah, this person. <laughs> Beautiful man. <laughs> Hello, Master. How are you doing? Mm, good. You can see. Yeah. <laughs> God, I just say 16 like always. Ah, yeah, 16. Uh, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind about that. What is it you want? Master, I got initiated about three months back. Yeah. Uh -huh. And in India, we have this custom that we have a lot of idols and picture worship. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, idol worship. Idol worship. We have a lot of idols in our house and our office. So I would oh. ask, like to ask you, like, am I supposed to continue with that, or I can recite the names and put it in the river? Whatever you like. Mm. Whatever you say, no, I don't say nothing. It's your life. <laughs> I've told you that you don't have to change anything except change your heart and change your direction. Mm -hmm. The idols can't give us too much. We have to be the one. Okay? Yes, Master. Thank you very much, Master. But uh, all this time, probably they have helped you mm, mentally. Yeah, to in time of trouble, you turn to them, even though they don't answer you or anything, but you feel like you have something. Uh, so thank them, huh? And maybe give it to someone who still needs them. Yes, Master. Yeah, or give it to the temple, Hindu temple. Yes, Master. Some people still need them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, Master. Thank you, you very much. You look very nice today. You look more, more handsome than when I first saw you. Thanks to you, Master. Yeah, really. More bright and more happy. Yes. yes. And younger, truly. Does he look different? Yeah, yeah. He, does. Huh? he does look different. He does look different, no? Yeah. See, every boy is... Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Master, before knowing you, I didn't have the desire to even live. But thanks to you, I'm alive and I have the desire to continue. Continue, please. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> yes, life is worth living, okay? Yes. Unless you've done your job here, then God wants you to go, then you go. Hmm? Don't try to take it before. Don't try to run away from your responsibility. A lot of people still need you. Hmm? Even if you don't want to leave because you don't care about whether or not to live or die, but some other can need you. See, you can spread the Dharma, can tell people to be good, to be vegetarian, to remind people to remember God. See? Mm. Thank we, you very much, Master. We have a lot of good use for this body yet, so we can't just cut it, okay? Don't ever do that again. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, Master. Welcome. You want to talk? No. <laughs> no, he's just scratching his head. <laughs> Men are usually more shy. Also, they are outnumbered, you see, so... <laughs> it take a long time for them to think before they talk. <laughs> yeah, you guys, women, don't come on too strong, okay? Be a little feminine, all right? <laughs> I'm, I'm the so-called master, I have to be both, yeah? But you guys a little bit more calm down and more ladylike, always so jumpy and so strong. And all the men are so scared, they sit in the corner, don't dare open mouth, nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay? 
it's very difficult for them to come here already, yeah? You're too strong and they, they'll be lost, they don't know what to do. Mm. Okay, good? Yes. We go meditate? Yes. See ya. My God, look at all of you, so much love. Anybody would be jealous with me, thinking, oh, she has so many lovers, what does she do with all of them? I didn't do nothing. You know, right? Did I do anything? I came to your house and tell you, come here, love me. <laughs> Some of you are not even initiated personally, understand? Only through the Quanning Messenger. You just know. Uh, what I tell you is the truth, yes? Yes. And then, and then when you try it, you know it's, it's true, and then you reap the benefit, you feel happy, and you know you are well on the, the right path. That's why, okay? <laughs> I do nothing really, just some candies. With that you can buy anywhere, <laughs> no? <laughs> but you love the candy. You showed us how to love. I did? How? How did I do that? Yes. Yes. The way you love us, I do. by example, uh -huh. you're showing us all the time how to love. Thank you. Thank you. And for this is like so important. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, really? I, I don't feel like I'm doing anything at all. Yes, everything. <laughs> everything. You do all the time. Yeah? <laughs> yes. that love. Truly, I'm not mm -hmm. fishing for compliments. I really don't, don't think I'm doing anything. Uh, number one, number two, I don't think I do enough. We have to say the truth. Yeah. The truth is. <laughs> okay. I believe you. It's just that I don't feel like I'm doing anything, and sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. Like I don't see you often enough. I don't hug you all enough. I don't kiss you all enough. I don't, you know, have enough time for you. We know how busy you are and how how much incredible work you're doing for for us, for the universe, and you're going out of the way, even to see us, even okay. when you don't feel very well, and uh, it's it's incredible what you're doing. Okay, thank but you so much. I wish I could really do more. Much appreciate. <laughs> I wish I could do more, you know, because because uh, when we see each other, sometimes you can ask questions, and you know, and we can connect. That you can feel happier and more encouraged. Thank you. <laughs> Master, your scolding is a blessing. Yeah. We get better and better. Oh, really? and, uh, and a couple of nights ago, when you came out, I told myself, I go back, I have to do much better. I have to be much uh, more giving, much more loving, and I appreciate your scolding. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not all, all, all the time, really. Of course, thanks for that. I don't really want to scold. But sometimes, for example, I say this sweetly, they don't do it. And I have to say, do it now! <laughs> then they run, you know? It's funny. <laughs> it's funny when, when you keep telling them sweetly, they don't do it, and you have to take action to, to, to tell them that you're serious. And it's time to, you know, take action, the right action. Because they, they don't, they, nobody is afraid of me, that's a problem. Also like my dog, they're not afraid of me at all. <laughs> I say, like, Abby, come here. Mm. <laughs> I say, Abby, come here now. No. I say, Abby, here! And then she's <laughs> Sometimes I'm not angry at all, you know, mostly I'm not. I just have to sound like a boss, then they listen. I don't know, then I use this method to apply to you guys. <laughs> and sometimes it works. <laughs> not to all, but some, some people need that, you know? It's funny, because they keep saying that they don't think anything serious, you know, it's still trying to push it, you know? See how far it can go. <laughs> then I have to say, here is the limit, now stop. Uh, because sometimes uh, if you're working for the public, then you have to be more disciplined. Yeah? If you just uh, sit there or come here for a uh, retreat, then you, you do what you want. Uh, but just don't talk a lot. Of course, concentrate. Yeah? But if you're working, you have to be like a team. You know? Move together like a team. Yeah? Stop like a team. 
so that things go smoothly and not waste a lot of time and no conflict in, in between. That's all. And sometimes I don't listen, then I have to really take action. Now! <laughs> I mean it! <laughs> look! <laughs> because nobody's scared of me, that's why I have to look scary a little bit sometimes, no? I think sometimes I have to wear a mask with the fang or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they see you now. They look at that. They're not scared at all. <laughs> Any of you scared of me, right hand? Nobody. Just look at that. Huh? <laughs> they always try to to push me. You know, push to the end. See how how much master will take. Oh, is he serious or not? You know, I can do it. Maybe you cannot, but I can, you know. <laughs> he or she thinks he's special. Yeah, can push me around or can, can try to play around, you know. Like my dogs, yeah? Uh, but never mind. Okay, you're still growing, so I forgive you all. Doesn't matter. Mm. Just when we work together, I'm very strict, okay? Not very, but we have to. Have to have uh, some certain discipline and uh, unity, yeah? Okay? All right, so we go meditate, huh? Uh, love you guys. Asking the, the assistant whether or not we can use if there is in the balcony outside, and I can just stand in and wave like the royalty. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. My God, why? Are you, what did I say that you're clapping so much? I was thinking for your convenience, you know. If I have a balcony somewhere that all the people can see me all at the same time, then number one, we don't have to have the uh, aircon, yeah? Even aircon here, it makes you feel still hot. So if it's, you all sit outside and I just stand on the balcony, <laughs> and everybody happy, no? We should try that. Yeah, but uh, the, the balcony here is all covered with coconut tree and pine. <laughs> I don't know how to move them. We could do that. We could move mountain, move all these big trees, <laughs> and plant it at the end of, you know, the edge of the, the, the thing. Can we do it? No, it's too big, huh? Anybody who specializes in trees moving? <laughs> Gardener? Anyone downstairs, up there? No. Only come to eat cakes. <laughs> Yes, because if we could move, no, we can move some, you know, like out of the way. Uh, for, no, but it's not all that convenient, is it? Because outside you walk around and all these things will be <laughs> crushed. Yeah. So, well, too bad, huh? Yeah. Maybe we have to have some places, a big, like St. Peter's Square or well, Yeah? Yeah, of course we have other places we can do, but I don't know. If we have, then we don't have good weather. No? Oh, it was difficult. 
to buy anything nowadays. Yeah, maybe we could do that in the future. But there's a good thing and bad thing. Yeah, small place that you can come in small number. You can see me more personally. Yes. Ask personal question. Yeah, like when it's so big, like uh, the big square, <laughs> then you can also use it <laughs> binocular and looking. Oh, is that her? <laughs> Look like blonde. Okay, okay. I saw the blonde hair. Must be her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How is your husband? Is he okay? You? Yeah. Already? Come on, but you have children. Why? Karma is too bad. It's too bad. He just was like going through that. Oh, sorry about that. But he's a nice guy. Okay, what's he doing now? Why doesn't he come see me? Is he coming? I don't know. No, okay. Oh, man, that's far. So far? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Maybe he'll come back again later, who knows? Yeah. C'est la vie, eh? Mm? Come, go, come, go. Mm. Sometimes for good things, sometimes not good. Depends. If you're happy, okay, then it's good. Yeah. <laughs> really happy? So, so? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very Yeah? You move on now? Yes. Okay. I thought he's a good boy. When he come here, I will <laughs> take care. <laughs> no, it's, it's very difficult, difficult to live together, you know? It's even difficult to live with myself. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I want to get up and, uh, and I say no. <laughs> the other one wants to meditate, the other one wants to go eat hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But so even I myself have problem with myself. <laughs> How would you not have problem with the other person, stranger? You know, complete stranger came in your life, and then just say one word, love, and then that's it. Everything started. <laughs> trouble, trouble. Yeah. Uh, sometimes happy, sometimes suffering, just because of that word, one word only. Don't ever listen to that word. Okay. <laughs> Except here, when we say we love each other, we really mean it. And the other outside is sometimes just one of that word. That word is supposed to make us happy and make things, you know, rosy and complete. Well, not, not always, huh? Yes. And if you have to stick with that word all your life, then you have to have a lot of patience, perseverance, and truly like to hold on. Yes. I would like to share with all brothers and with you, Master, how you taught me, because I'm your disciple, uh, with your definition of love, that I read it to my husband, and that's how we live now. Yeah. Your definition of love is when you love somebody, you let free that person. You don't, you don't, that person don't supposed to feel you grabbing on yeah. that person. I'm possessed. You give, you give that person freedom. and. That person's happiness is your goal, to see that person happy. And my husband embraced that like I, but I'm your disciple, he's not. Mm. But I he learned from you. I hope, yeah, I hope, Master, he will follow you too. It and doesn't matter. He follow already in his heart. He yes. Thank you, Master. Thank you. That's what I wanted but to hear. man, it's very difficult to commit, you understand yeah. that? <laughs> my, hu my husband is very intellectual. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And he, he became from 80s, he became agnostic now, oh, which well, is like uh, upgraded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you. It's not too far now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. some percentage of Ching Hai in there, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and an interesting thing what happened was that a couple months ago, yeah. um, because at the beginning I told him about you right away, because um, I, I fell in love with you right away, and I knew who you are. And I told him, gave him the book. Yeah. And after that, he was kind of scared that he going to lose me. <gasps> Because he felt how much I love you and how much I appreciate you, everything you do. And, and what happened was that uh, he was scared and you told me, 
put his shoes on your feet and see how, how he you feel. feel. Yeah, yeah. And I felt everything he felt. And I bow my head to you and I said, thank you, Master. And I read the definition of love that you made. And th that's how we live now. Everything is so harmonious, beautiful. I have uh, three years of beautiful love in marriage. 20 some was, uh, was something, love, yeah. But not the quality that you gave us, Master. Uh -huh. Me nice. and my family, all my family. Wonderful. Thank you, Master. I wonderful. want you to, to know. I know you know, but I want everyone to Wonderful to know. hear. Yeah, Thank wonderful you, for everyone to hear. Yeah, this is a true love. Yeah, true love. And I want to divorce him three years ago. <laughs> and you said, you said, you said, you said, you stay still here. And I said, Yes, Master, I'm your soldier. I'm going to stay and, oh. and just give the love. And, uh, and I gave the love, and love came back in many folds, not one. Okay. And thank you for guiding me, Master. All right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. We are together, no divorce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, Master. You're welcome. Yeah. And, uh, that's what makes me happy. If you are happy, if you are happy, I'm happy. Yes. Mm, you are a very strong woman, you know, in, in your faith. Yes. So it's better you stay and help him to come along. Okay? Because <laughs> if you leave, he's falling apart. He said he's going to die. Yeah. He told me, I'm going to die. If you leave, I'm going to die. Yeah, I know that. Nobody dying because of me. No. <laughs> His world will fall apart, yes, um, because he, he loves you so much, okay? Maybe not as deep, but he loves you as much as he can, and uh, he's really sincere about it, and no other woman will make him as happy, yeah, and he cannot go up without you. And Master, at the beginning, I really, I have a little medallion with your uh, picture, uh, you were a monk, you know, and I love that picture so much. And uh, and um, um, you don't love I, me right now. Of course, I love you. I <laughs> with love my you monk's master. hair. You know, that. you know that. I love you anyway. <laughs> and uh, what happened was uh, uh, after my husband was making a little difficulties, you know, being kind of jealous and stuff. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to really like. Be quiet, don't do anything anymore. Two uh, months ago, he called me home and he said, you know what, Katy, your mom is coming. My mom is Catholic and she was coming to visit us in the States. Mm -hmm. And he said, just tell your mom to bring the cr crucifix and the rosary, you know, with her because my mom is a believer in Catholic religion. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and he said, and by the way, you know, put the master picture, you know? He said, put it up, because I did not put your picture in the house, because I did not want that my husband and my daughter to be kind of jealous, you oh. know, because that, okay, they were okay. jealous okay. at the beginning. And he said, just put the master picture up too, you know? He wanted like to give me permission, kind oh. of. And I went online, and search for your pictures and let him choose your picture because he wasn't asking for me he yeah. asked for himself yeah, yeah. and he and my daughter also uh -huh. he loved your picture with the Kuan Yin and Bodhisattva with the with oh, the white on you're so my husband, very diplomatic you and, <laughs> and my husband loved the picture when you are like Iraqi queen you know with the with the um, um, golden crown uh. and looks you look always beautiful. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> and, remember anymore. And we have the, those pictures, but those pictures are for them. Not, I mean, it's for me too, but I know they wanted it, not me, you know. And thank you, Master, for all your beautiful... You do our the, the photos for us, you do everything. And thank you, Master. Okay. Now we have a pictures of you oh, in the house. Yeah. Officially, yeah? <laughs> Officially. Finally, I moved in. Yeah, <laughs> finally you moved in. The end. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for the home. <laughs> I don't remember anymore what uh, clothes I wear because in the beginning uh, the the people around they design clothes and they make me wear. I said, okay, why not? Let's wear it. <laughs> and then later on, the, 
because I go away and nobody designed for me and I have to go some to some official meeting and all that. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I just uh, designed for myself and then everybody liked it and then it become clothes, clothing mm-hmm. line, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now uh, they buy things for me, put here for me to wear because they are afraid I go out without. <laughs> <laughs> And it will be official on the camera. <laughs> then I will be the headline again. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, by the way, peop- you are still feeding the birds, right? The kitchen every day, yeah? Twice a day at least, okay? Good bread, give them water. Always look see if uh, water is dirty or don't have. you. you uh, replenish the water, huh? And after you leave, you you tell the the next uh, next group to do the same. Yeah, make sure, okay. Office also make sure this, okay? Because they love to eat uh, vegetarian with us here. But just give maybe twice a day, maybe enough because they also need to go out and eat a vegetable or something. Or maybe you put some fruit and vegetable for them see if they eat. Mm. Otherwise, good bread, nah? No? The whole whole meal bread. Yeah, not not the white bread, okay? Yeah, because white bread is not enough nutrition for them. Mm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, we go meditate then. If nothing, then we go meditate, huh? But you okay without me? Okay, the children, everything. They visit each other sometimes, no? Visit each other sometimes. The children, okay, huh? Friend. Just because you're divorced doesn't mean you have to be enemies. Yeah, children need. Children need. Welcome. Yes. Okay, guys. <laughs> For you, everybody wants. Don't take a lot the, the neighbor don't have. Okay, see you then. Love you. I love you so much and I thank you very much for accepting me, your disciple. I feel a lot of strong connection with you and melting inside whenever I see your videos and I listen to you. I forget everything in this world except you. I feel everything you, you are to me like uh, you are in me. I feel like that. Yeah, of course, that's what we're together all yeah. the time. And I feel like uh, you ha- I have connection with you from my past lives. And my inner soul told that uh, you, she is your guru four years ago. And I ignored that message. And after four years, I was in search of uh, enlightenment. I was fond of enlightenment very deeply. I want to die for it. So then I got your book uh, from one of my friends. And uh, after reading it, fast fast that book and I was calling New Jersey Center and I got initiated last year. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I was so ignorant. Please forgive me, Master. No, it's not. You're being contaminated. Yes. That's why. Yeah. In the world. You know, so yeah. that's why I slow you down. But now I hear. Whenever I do lot of longer meditations, I feel lot of pain in over here and here, Master. And uh, 
uh, I am not able to do longer and longer. I want to do intense meditation, so whole nights, every night I want to use for meditation, but I was not able to do that. And also, earlier, we uh, before coming to this meditation, we were following another uh, meditation from India. Yeah. They, they say like, uh, whenever you learn meditation immediately the next minute you can teach the same meditation to everybody so it's spreading very fast like that we were like uh, spreading meditation at that time a lot of uh, uh, teaching meditation in at home also we used to have classes every sunday group meditations and after coming to Kuan Yin, i stopped because master says first you grow yourself then you can teach others then i stopped Okay, thank you. <laughs> Take a seat. Okay, maybe that's the reason you have headache right now. Um, I don't want to offend anyone, but sometimes if you meditate on a lower chakra, or if not enough power to protect, or not to aim to go the, to the top, then the lower um, guardians or lower god and goddesses want to keep you there. Okay, so but uh, but you will go through. Hmm? Promise. <laughs> okay. If you have a little headache, then you don't do it. You stand up, you know, do some exercise, some yoga, drink a glass of cold water, okay? And then put on the tape, chanting tape. Listen, just relax. Just listen to chanting tape and don't think about anything. And then slowly you will go into samadhi again. And then you will break through, okay? You have to always be grateful to your past guru. Yeah, your master has taught you everything that he, he can, yes, and give you all the power that he, he has. And you tell the God and Goddesses that where they keep you, say, please, I want to really want to know Almighty God. I thank you for all your love and, and your company, but I really want to go up. Okay? Yes, all right. And then they'll let you recite the five names, Tell them, please, let me go, okay? All right, <laughs> go meditate. <laughs> See you later. I'm very proud of you. Tại vì ở nước ngoài á, nước lạ lùng như vậy mà học được tiếng người ta, rồi làm việc cho người ta, làm việc với người ta, rồi mở tiệm á, sư phụ rất là hãnh diện, okay? Hãnh diện với quý vị, hả? Có trái tim tốt, nha. có đầu óc thông minh, nha. có năng lực. Ha? Ok. Sư phụ rất là hãnh diện. Hiểu hả? Hiểu hết không? I'm very proud of you. Because you are in strange country, but you can do many things. Yeah? You open restaurant, you open business, you work. You teach, yeah, even. You teach English, you teach the children, you teach people how to be good, to be vegetarian, everything. I'm very proud of you, okay? Yeah. Very proud of you. You're so good, good. <laughs> Excellent. Hoàng Hồ. Mấy đồng chí giỏi, okay? <laughs> oh, ready today. Very good. I am that one. This is my Okay. 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 <笑>这边比台湾好 等一下出来打坐<笑><笑> 
看到，有没有人不在？嗯For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Be vegan, make peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com. 